Good afternoon, everyone. It is Sunday, May 21st. May 21st. 21st. I remember. I remembered 2023. Um, it's not cool up here, but it's not super nice. I mean, it's it's the wall says 80. It doesn't feel like it's 80 in here, though. I'm gonna turn this on because I'm gonna go into the hallways. Um, today I'm getting out of the house. I'm gonna turn this on. So I'm gonna come home to a blazing hot house. Um, <clears throat> don't forget, don't forget, don't forget the necklace. Don't forget your Triforce. A couple things I want to do on my on my day today. Um, I'm gonna go to the office. I'm gonna go to my office and uh, get some quarters. The reason I want to get some quarters, the reason I want to get some quarters is because I have eight left. And the next time I do laundry, it's going to require more than eight quarters. With the quarters I currently have remaining, I have a choice. I can wash my clothes, or I can dry my clothes. Those are my options. So I'm gonna head to the office and get some quarters. While I'm there, give them some space to get ahead of me. I'm sure this would be really annoying if someone's behind you walking, talking to the camera. Uh, while I'm there at the office, I might try to get a walk-in around campus, around West Campus, uh, because that's kind of what I want to do. That gets me outside, and after that, head to Costco and do Costco shit. What my watch do? Oh yeah, I should unlock my watch. Oh, my watch is almost dead. Turn on battery saver. Very good. <laughs> I forgot to charge my watch last night. It has 16% left in it. Oh. They're my car neighbor. Well, let's go enjoy the day. It is time, everyone. It is time for a walk. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how far I'm going. But I'm going somewhere. I'm going to campus. I think I have an idea of what I want to do. And at the end of the walk, because I'm motivated by food and consumables, I'm going to stop 7-Eleven. Get a big old drink and a candy bar. I am simple people. So this little sculpture here, it's called Shift. And at night, it lights up. It actually looks really cool at night. During the daytime though, eh, meh. You know, I'm gonna wait. I don't wanna get run over. I have a feeling I'm gonna edit out a lot of this. No trains. Oh, they closed that pathway. I mean, that makes sense. They've been doing a lot of construction on university. And oh, do I mean a lot of construction. I hate driving university now. It's terrible. Oh man, perfect day. Little bit of breeze. Not a cloud in the sky. Sun is out, bright and shining. Probably right around upper 70s, close to 80, I think is what I saw. This little hill is uh, no joke, by the way. Not a single joke whatsoever in this hill. 
I think we'll kind of check out West Campus while we're on this walk here. Unfortunately, unlike our walk in Arlington, there will be traffic today. Arlington's a sleepy little bedroom community. And this is downtown Madison. <laughs> Big difference. Big difference in those two cities. So, I think I made the decision once I've finished Tears of the Kingdom, I'm gonna turn right around and play it again for an LP. I made the realization today, I have not really done a proper LP, meaning it's not a modded game, as in randomizer. Because randomizer are easy to set up. Run the seed, hit record, play the game. I just realized I'm gonna wanna change hands. Whew, that hill was easier than I expected actually. Probably because of the beginning of my walk. I'm not going the way over the hill. I'm going down, uh, down Walnut to get to the 7 Eleven. Told you I'd get outside this weekend. Even if I had to kind of force myself to do it, I actually did a lot last night in the game. Got some more shrines done. Um, I got a lot of armor pieces. I have the full Fierce Deity set and the subsequent Fierce Deity sword, which I like, and there's a reason I like it. I can go back to where I found the sword and get another one when I break it. Keyword is when I break it. Um, I haven't really been on the Korok push of late. I did finish the fourth and final dungeon last night. <laughs> final he says knowing full well it's not the last one hashtag spoilers there's one more there's another dungeon I'm actually looking forward to it looking very forward to that dungeon um, the game is getting easier um, I can tell that I have been playing a little while by the way right behind me Forest Products Laboratory, United States Department of Agriculture. They do research on wood. That's it, they do research on wood. I got a tour of the place uh, a couple years ago uh, as part of the, the in-towner team because they do a lot of work with us. They're like, you wanna come see the, see the factory? I'm like, yeah, yeah I do. Um, like they work with Louisville Slugger or they, they worked with Louisville Slugger, trying to find which bats work best in terms of what, uh, what splinters, what doesn't splinter. Like, is there a bat that can break more safely? Is there a bat that's more durable? Um, and they found, I think, the, I think ash, I think ash wood, which seems like it wouldn't be, but ash is only ash when you burn it. Walking past the hospital now. That big parking garage is the hospital. You know, I've never noticed that big UW Health thing up there. Never noticed it before. Today I did. I'm gonna keep going straight. A lot of the School of Medicine and Public Health uh, has all their buildings over here. Go figure. Like I have School of Nursing right here to my right. From what I understand, UW has a pretty good health uh, health program. Beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. Menabom Hall, I don't even know what that's for. Probably more nursing. More SMPH stuff. The 
It's gone. <sighs> I think I'll turn up here because we're the road I'm on right now is uh it's Highland Avenue, but it turns into University Bay Drive because it just does a big loop. Like it gets to where, where it was, and it's just a big horseshoe that connects right back to University Avenue. That way, if you take the wrong way down Highland, or if you don't have a choice, you have to, like, if emergency vehicles are coming from, oh no, if they're coming from the west, they turn on, on University Bay. But if they miss that turn, they can turn on the Highland and take the horseshoe around to the emergency, to the emergency area. I've done that drive a couple, well, not the full horseshoe drive, but I've done the drive to the emergency room a couple times for mom. And like the la those last couple months, like mom got pancreatitis. Like I think that was kind of the, where we started to realize it may have been the beginning of the end. Cancer, man. Fucking hate cancer. Cancer almost always takes people way far, way sooner than they should be taken. God damn, yeah. I'm glad I got out today. I'm glad I'm getting out today. It is perfect. And after this, go to Costco get some food maybe prepare some of it tonight in the old instapot in ye old instapot All right here we got the tennis meals in tennis stadium they play volleyball in there that's joke they play tennis in there of course and now the lighting is going to suck because the sun is now right behind me. I should probably cross the road, shouldn't I? Uh, yep. We're clear. Go ahead, cross. More of the School of Medicine and Public Health. Our hotel works with them. Quite a lot, actually. Yeah, sometimes I like to take these these walks where I, I know I need to get back to where I started, but I don't really have a destination in mind. E-scooter stalls. <laughs> it's like I'm a parking for your goddamn e-scooter. They do electric scooter rentals. And damn, they require a parking pass for that. And probably charge over $1,000 for the whole year. Which, I mean, if you go by per day, fine. But having to drop a grand in one fell swoop, I hate doing that personally. Oh, I see. University of Bay comes out the other side. And that's where Highland ends. Okay. I get it now. I think I get it now. Campus can be a little confusing at times. Oh yeah, we need to get a beverage. And we're out back to the car. I'm actually gonna stop at the bank on the way there because I, I forgot to bring the two deposits. And I figure I should bring those. Actually, this is perfect. If you were to keep, continue going that way, you'd run to uh, a place called Picnic Point. It's a little, uh, I'm gonna say cape-like thing, but it's, it's a little jut out into Lake Mendota. Lake Mendota being, of course, one of the two big lakes around, surrounding downtown Madison. We have four lakes in the Madison. Actually, there's more than four lakes, but it's four big ones. There's Mendota, Monona, 
Wingra, and Wabisa. I usually had the fifth one, which is Kiganza, which is farther south, though. It's kind of outside of the city limits of Madison. It's more McFarland Stoughton. Oh. All the people out on their walks and runs today. It's good. It's good to, to get that in. I'm seeing an awful lot of cars, by the way, with have like bumper stickers says, new driver, please be patient. And I'm starting to wonder the validity, validity of those stickers. Or is it just to excuse shitty driving? I don't know. What I do know is we're coming up to a fun part that if I would have gone here, I would have been a part of. And even then, I'm actually not even sure. Because it takes a special kind of beast to be in this group. I'm talking, of course, about the UW Marching Band. They have a style that they use that uh, I've never seen any other marching band do. Like, I've seen... Like when I marched, I marched marching band nerd moment for a sec for a little bit. I marched course style, which is walking, walking in time. I mean, there's more to it than that. There's definitely more to it than that. Sometimes it's running in time. Hot damn! Sometimes it's running in time. Um, but your knees don't kick up. Your feet come up off the ground just a little tiny bit, just like you're walking. It's also referred to as a roll step. It's a very musical, if I wanna use that term, it's more of a musical style of marching in which I can swap over to the glide step like I'm doing now, where you point your toes sky high. I'm gonna let this guy go. love when people just kind of walk out not even looking not even looking not even seeing like there's other people on the road by the way there's Banfield I've been by that field before they put the new turf on it and it's funny every four steps or about 40 about uh, 90 inches there's a big, there are big divots worn out into the ground. Because that's where they'd be doing their step. Anyway, getting back into things. Oh, band storage building. What's up? A lot of tubas in there, I'm guessing. That guy is just driving around with a sign on his on his car, making money. Through these trees here is the softball diamond. Not baseball. Wisconsin does not have a baseball team. Title IX. And honestly, we're a cold weather school. Baseball would have to be on the road for like the first two months out of the season. Or we'd have to build a dome stadium. I don't think that's happening. Over there, you can see over in the distance, that gray, the big gray building to the left. That's brand new open this year. It's a new recreation facility. It was built on top of the old natatorium. They moved the natatorium to the south and eastern side of campus. That's southeastern. It's over by the Cole Center. You might have seen it on the vlog where I went and got my stuff for the Crazy Legs. Uh, here's track and field, the, the McLennan track. And there's med flight. Ooh, cranes. What's up, friends? <gasps> Little baby cranes. Look at the babies. 
I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there's two little baby cranes in between the two bigger cranes. That's awesome. I've never seen baby cranes before. Not in the wild, anyway. No, no, no. Don't go onto the soccer field, baby crane. Or if you do, the people playing soccer can stop. Oh, mama's going onto the field. Well, <laughs> never mind. Well, have fun, have fun, cranes. That was cool. That just made my day right there. Getting the cool bits of uh, wildlife right here in Madison. So if you remember back to the 8th of, of April, I almost said August, April, wrong A. Looking back to the 8th of May when I was in Arlington, where I grew up, by this point in time, we were already on our way back to the car and having traversed the length of the city, or the width of the city. I don't know. City, town. They call it a village. I'm calling it a town. Sorry. It's tiny as fuck. Good. No one coming. I can go. I'll go to the other side of the road too. But yeah, having traversed an entire town in about this length of time compared to... I didn't get through all of campus. Like, there's more campus to my east. There's lots more campus over there. You're not even seeing the end of it. Like, you saw the other end of it at, uh, at Crazy Legs, where campus ended and State Street began. That's like two miles away from here. That's a lot of, that's a lot of space. See, UW-Madison. And yes, that is the official name of the school. It is not the University of Wisconsin. It is the University of Wisconsin, Madison. All the UW schools are named after the city that they're in. Madison, Whitewater, Platteville. Parkside and Stout are different. Parkside is in Kenosha. Stout is in Menominee. <laughs> They're opposite corners of the state. <laughs> Parkside, honestly, if you go any farther south, you're in Chicago, basically. Basically, not actually. I mean, you gotta go through Waukegan first and Gurney and a bunch of the north suburbs before you actually hit Chicago proper. But there's a damn metro station in Kenosha. I'm sorry. You have that regional rail there, you're in Chicago. That's the way I put it. You're basically in Chicago if you, have to, if you have a train going to the downtown center. I would love to have a train here. I would take said train. I'd take it all the time. I'd get on it just to go somewhere. And then I'd have to drive. That'd be really good. Uh, I have no idea what this building is. I actually, I actually don't know what this building is. Oh look, there's a sign. I might tell me what this building is. I know agriculture and uh, and horticulture are in this area. The growing schools. We actually have a, one of the corpse flowers here at UW. I've never gone to see it. Actually, one bloomed just after Dad died. I'm like, I don't need to go. I've I've I've, I've smelled it. Never forget that, by the way. West Campus Cogeneration Facility. Oh, power plant. In cooperation with MGE. Yeah, a bunch of USDA here. Central Crops Research Unit. There's Forest Park Subway up there. Good stuff. Or is this a power plant? What the hell is this? It must all be the same thing. I'm about to be accosted by a doggo. If during every walking vlog, 
I get accosted by a doggo in a good way, I'm going to be a happy guy. I get the camera out more often. I love doggos. Love me the doggos. I'll probably get in the road to give them some room. There's actually a nice bike path or a path or a bike lane here. Oh my God, there's two doggos. Oh, that one was, that one's going the wrong way. Oh, they own the central heating plant. Does doggo want to say hi? Oh, get your doggo. It's a very narrow sidewalk. Very narrow. Extremely narrow. Well, I'm gonna go get my beverage and snack. And then walk back to my car, run a couple more errands, head home. And then probably more than like, actually, you know what I should do tonight is set up Wednesday's show so I don't forget again while I'm on this kick. And then tonight, I'm gonna play more Tears of the Kingdom, of course. I'm debating if I wanna do more shrines or do light roots. I'm thinking shrines. All thing I need to go and do, get my amiibos taken care of, as in scan them in the game and get more items that way. I should probably also think about getting more Korok seeds so I can carry more shit. That's probably the reason why you want to get Korok seeds. Carry more shit. Anyway, we're gonna see y'all later. And back home. Wait, I did lock the car, right? Yes, I did. I locked the car. This wagon's heavy today. Two cases of water, which, I definitely need to drink more water. Oh God, he's very heavy. Light, ah, that's bright as hell. <laughs> oh. It's been a good day today. It's been a really good day today. And it got started super late. I actually didn't wake up until about five hours ago. And it's 5.30. Yeah. Ooh, cart. To the second floor. Oh, been a very, very good day today. I think I'm gonna go something easy for dinner tonight. Um, um I need to make food for the for the week. You know, I've got um, I've got enough for leftovers for tomorrow. So what I'll probably do is have just like chicken tenders tonight. Which is basic and simple and I can have that done in three minutes. And then I have the pulled pork and the brisket from City, from City Barbecue. I have that sitting in the fridge. I should have got another carton, of, I should have got another gallon of milk. Fuck! Alternatively, I could have that. I haven't had mac and cheese with dogs in a while. That's the thing, that's gonna be dinner. It is Sunday. That was supposed to be lunch, but I think the pizza sounded better. So we'll make mac and cheese and hot dogs. Because mac and cheese, hot dogs. Ugh. We already been to the house to get kitty her treats. I was had to get the wagon because I don't want to take multiple trips hauling stuff. I hear the kitty. Meow. Meow. Oh, she's running. She be running. She sees a wagon. She's like, oh, Lordy, coming. Oh, God. I'm in, I'm in the shoes. There we go. I do have multiple pairs of shoes. More than one guy should have. But, like one pair of shoes specifically for workouts, and then I have my, my, my flip-flops, and my two pair of everyday shoes, which I rotate, which worked really well. The Hoka's last for a long time. 
the uh, the black ones. <sighs> well, dinner time. Put away. Oh, uh, put away. I also put away dishes. Put away laundry. Laundry's put away. Put away food time. By the way, I did double check uh, how long I went on my walk today, and it said I went about 29 minutes, mile and a half. I'm like, okay, that's good shit. That's some good shit. I'll take that all day. Get my change here. My knot quarters. I said my knot quarters. A quarter just went in there. Quarters are super valuable. Also, should get this change taken care of at some point. Don't worry, I got like 60 bucks more worth of quarters. I think that's actually my quarter thing, not this. It was a little gray thing. Anyway. Uh, you know, not much else is going to happen on happen today. It's going to be just a day that things happen. I'm going to play Zelda. That's that's the gist of it. I'm going to play Zelda. It's still warm in here, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. 77, but it's fine. And a kitty. Hi, you. Come say hi. No. I want to say hi. Missy. Can you see one look? Nope, I want to see what's coming out of here. <laughs> that cat. Anyway, even though it is only 5.30, I think I'm going to call it a day here. Thank you all so much, so very, very much for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.